only be the best version as me as I can. Have a living where I want to do something that will never get tired of doing. Represent, I want to represent. Uh, I'm in In 2021, Northern News Abroad became the first grant recipient of Catapult Canada. We were able to create a pilot project serving youth from across Nunavut and the Northwest Territories. 20 students accessed a 16-week program with Camosun College. Oftentimes, people don't realize the resilience required for students from the North to attend post-secondary. Imagine arriving on a campus the same size population-wise as your territory being from a small fly-in remote community where you are connected to your family and your culture and your land. But on top of that, perhaps you've never been on a bus, perhaps you don't have a bank account, uh, and you have no idea of the supports or services available. So our participants show such strength. Uh, they get through homesickness and being away from their comfort zone and all of these things uh, so that they can build a future for themselves and their families and their communities. First, it was a um, different time zone, and then it became homesickness, then depression. I was talking to my instructors and the others to make sure that I have a good mental state and make sure they have a good mental state as well. Going on the land would be one of them. It's always healing. I'm geese hunted. I haven't we were geese hunted, so that's something new. That's pretty new. Going to the gym. Going to the gym and then to work out and then going to the school gym to play basketball. Or Seeing trees or being somewhere else. And biology too. I really love biology. On behalf of Northern Youth Abroad, we'd like to express our gratitude to Catapult Canada and to the Rideau Hall Foundation. Without grants like this, our projects would simply not be possible. <laughs> I got too many dreams and I want to motivate other youth or anyone that want to pursue their dream. 